Hey, welcome to another Grow Your BNB video and in today's video, I wanna show you my screen and go through how to create a partner account with Booking.com. So look, if you're new to this channel, I'm a little bit debater around Booking.com. I'm not sure if that's the kind of the platform that I wanna dominate in terms of if you're you know, looking to start your Airbnb or short-term rent a business, but also at the same time is one of the most powerful platform out there, especially in the UK right now as well, um, for you to start utilizing and maximizing it. So without further ado, look, let me show you my screen and let's get cracking with the video. So firstly, my team and myself, we've created a lot of free guides which we're gonna share over all the videos that we've been creating. So you can see in this video, you also have a downloadable uh, version of this. So you can go through this, you can create the account as we speak. Now, just to give you a heads up, you don't need a property to have this account ready and set up. So if I was you, I would get the account ready now. So. Without further ado, if you see the first part of the video, um, the first step that you've got to do is just Google booking.com partners login because there's two different options, right? So the first one, you can see straight away, it says admin.booking.com. Now that is your back end of booking.com. That is where host actually use it, where you create listings and you have your back end system and stuff. The other one is much more of a you know traveling account. If you're traveling with booking.com, you've got to account it. So the second step I'd like you to do as seen in the video is tap on partners form uh, and the below login section will come in. Now, if you see here, it's, it clearly says what to do there with the arrow. Now, if you press that, the step three is to sign in, right? Now, once you sign in, obviously it will ask you to create, because you don't have an account right now, you have to press the button which says, create your partner account. Now, let me stop you here first. So just to give you a heads up, a lot of time I found that people who do not have a company or a property ready, they end up creating an account with their personal name. We've quickly realized the easiest way to have it done is through your company email, because obviously what you wanna do is keep everything under your company slash business name. So the best email to use is gonna be your company email. If you do not have one, I recommend you just go and create a Gmail account with your company name on it. So something like uniquespace.sa at gmail.com. So you've now got a Gmail account for your business, which is what I'd like you to use this on your booking.com account. Now, as you can see from my screen, step number five is enter your valid email address, which is what I've just mentioned to you. And once you put that, you can then continue. Once you do that, it will then ask you for further detail for verification, i.e. your full name and your phone number. And once you put that, you just press next. The next step is put a password. Pretty simple, straightforward. You now create a password. Obviously, you wanna create something that you obviously will remember. And as well as you need to, if tomorrow you need to share it with people like us, if we're Grow BNB working in your account, something easier that you can remember and for us to work with as well. Step number eight, you have now ex created the account. You are now fully up and running. And if you look at the top right hand corner, you will see list your property. So now let's talk about booking.com and the types and the guest behaviors. Booking.com as a platform, as you probably are aware, is used worldwide, right? But in the UK, in the UK market, and also in Dubai market, especially I found that Booking.com is used by travelers, the guest behaviors, a lot more of a holiday maker, a lot more of leisure business. Yes, there is some contractor business, but I would definitely class it over 80% of clientele you're gonna get from Booking.com is generally clients who are gonna mesh your calendar because they're willing to book you for two, three nights if you open your calendar for two, three nights. But having said that, they are quality clients who will pay you quite a lot. Because of the way they Booking.com has always created their business, people are planning ahead. People know they're tra traveling into a certain area in a certain month. So they what they do is they go into Booking.com, they book you a way advance, especially if you've got a good pricing strategy after a month or two, you know that you've achieved a very, very good nightly rate. The second thing I wanna talk about is the guest behavior, right? The types of guests. Booking.com guest behaviors we found was it's just people who wants to book you for four nights, three nights. Great, 
But again, if you're looking for a long-term booking strategy, you make sure that you have a much more control or much more of a pricing strategy driven through booking.com. If not, A, you will have a messy calendar. B, you'll, you'll have problems finding longer term booking because you've got little bookings in between. Well, if you're new to this channel, I've done a lot of videos around Grow Your BNB, around all our clients. We've worked with over 1,400 properties. A lot of them have been also worked on Booking.com. Again, I mentioned in, earlier in this video, I'm not a massive fan of Booking.com as a platform because of the guest behaviors, especially if you want to become a profitable short-term rental property. However, I'm always going to say this, that this is the platform you definitely want to be in purely because if you're new to the industry, this is something is going to get you some good bookings. Well, thank you so much for watching another Grow Your BNB video. Please make sure you hit that like, subscribe and share and we'll be back with another video soon.